welcome into the original Father Son Voiceover Podcast Studio. I'm Hudson. That's my dad, Todd. And uh, we. This is one of two videos we usually do weekly. Uh, this one is Todd's tips. Dad gives tips that he gives to me and maybe other voiceover talents who have asked for his help, and he's giving it out free to you. So incline your ear. And uh, the other video next, I mentioned it is our numbers. So dad's weekly numbers, my weekly numbers for voiceover. And then John from Vomp, who is a marketing, direct email marketing business for voiceover talents like us. So he'll give, we have a group that we market for and uh, we'll give their numbers as well. So right now is Todd's tips. So dad, take it away as oh, usual. Very good explanation. Thank you for that intro. Nice job. So um, this is Todd's tips and we've been doing Todd's do's and don'ts, kind of a sub folder of Todd's tips. And our audio visual producer, Demond, uh, who does a great job putting these videos together, he always flashes these asterisks or caveats so that you're able to just take a deep breath and listen to what I have to say and not say, he's telling me I have to do these things or he's telling me not to do these things and he's big and strong and I don't know if that's right and my coach is telling me something else. You do you, I do me. But after being in business for many years, being in radio for 30 years, uh, being in life, being in, in VO for now 13 years, there are some things that I've learned. And so I'm passing these on, as Hudson says, for free of charge and uh, you can take them or leave them. I just ask that you do a good job of just listening. Don't get emotional about these things. That's why we provide these caveats. I'm different than you are. Nevertheless, there are some similarities, obvious for every business, obviously for every business. So just take a listen, see what applies to you. So here's one. And uh, again, don't get off track by the title. Here's my title. It is a do. I, excuse me, it's a don't. I don't whine. I don't whine. I'm tempted to, but I stop myself. You know, I watch a lot of VO-related videos, and I read a lot of VO-related articles and blogs, and I listen to a fair amount of VO podcasts and follow a lot of related VO Facebooks and Instagram posts. And one thing that I regularly hear and see, and that's this. There's plenty of what I would label as whining, VO whining out there. The economy is killing my business. Low ball talent, low ball video producers, Fiverr, Upwork, they're ruining the business for the rest of us. AI is going to shut us down. They're stealing all the voiceover jobs like crazy. There's so many new voiceover talent in the industry. I don't know if there's enough work for us to go around those types of things. And I could add lots, lots more um, examples to that list. Now you might say, but Todd, these are real issues that the VO community is dealing with. Don't you have any compassion? Why are you saying that people just stating their problems, the VO talent have, are whining? Well, let me be clear here. There's nothing wrong with stating problems. That's not a problem with me at all. You can state problems in our industry or difficulties. I understand the problems that go into running a voiceover business, but there's a difference between stating a problem and whining. And let me just differentiate be, between the two in my mind. Stating a problem is saying, this is an issue or this is a problem, and then trying to figure out steps or getting help to find out steps to deal with that problem. That's fine. Whining is seeing a problem and then making excuses why you can't deal with it. Like I said before, I'm empathetic when it comes to problems and issues people have. Not only have I been in VO for 13 years and dealt with the ups and downs, the elations, the disappointments of pushing that proverbial boulder up the hill, but I've also, I'm a 63-year-old man, I'm a dad, a husband, I've been a coach, all sorts of things. I've experienced lots of life's problems and troubles. So I understand the feelings of wanting to give up and give in. But although life in general 
And business in particular, voiceover business, is taxing and difficult. We aren't like a boat with no oars. Get a plan that works, a simple plan that works, and then work that plan. I know things can get tough, but whining, in my mind, is seeing a problem and making excuses about why that problem can't be overcome. So, uh, another person's problems is, uh, one person's problems is a dead end, another person's problem just a speed bump, a hurdle that they need to get over. And so, I don't whine. And like I said, I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to say I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. But what I do is I say, maybe my plan, my simple plan that works needs to be tweaked. I've been doing that lately. This is my third week where I've had below par standards. And so I'm just evaluating. I'm not flailing and I'm certainly not whining. I'm just evaluating. So just some things to think about. Yeah. It's, we'll, and we'll get into that with our numbers, but it's been interesting <clears throat> and let people in. It's been, there hasn't been a lot of times where I've seen you like this. Um, in your business where you're having to do that. You've, you've been, as you've said, with your numbers and stuff like that, it, it's, it's reminding me of what I'm doing. It's like, it's just kind of interesting. A guy who's as successful as you are, you're having a little bit of a slow time and you're employing the same things that I'm employing. I'm, you know, my goal is 750. Your goal is 6,000. 6, it's obviously different, but you're, still holding true to what you're saying. Anyway, I just, that was just interesting because you can say, oh yeah, you know, people might say, yeah, Todd, that's easy for you to say. You just had $6,000 last week. I can't even make a thousand, me. Mm -hmm. But then I see you, you know, not having lots of success this week. And it's like, oh, okay. He practices what he preaches. And I know that other people aren't able to see the day in and day out that I'm able to see. Um, but that's encouraging to me that even a guy who you could just sit there these last three weeks and say, ah, I'm fine. I've been, I've been ahead of schedule, you know, most of the year. I'm just going to, it'll, it'll pick back up and it probably will. But I see you hustling, you know, trying to get work. And that's what I'm trying to emulate mm-hmm. as well, even at a smaller level. Yeah. So yeah, there's anyway. the, the pressure on your side, which is, you know, I'm trying to make $750 mm-hmm. a week and I only made 600. So I'm $150 below, mm-hmm. but I'm trying to make $6,000 a week. And as you'll find out in the numbers this week, I'm just over 3000. Well, that's three, that's 50% mm-hmm. of what I need to make to keep my business employees and everything going. So there's that kind of pressure that you put on yourself. But I just, I just have learned that I'm not going to let the pressure get to me. I'm going to continue to work that simple plan that's gotten me. Again, maybe the industry is changing. It certainly is changing. Maybe it's changing enough that I've got to go in a little different direction. And certainly, in all honesty, my life is changing. Uh, I'm getting older. I'm getting closer to retirement. And I'm going to slow down. Um, maybe the industry is going to slow me down as my voice no longer becomes more you know, mainstream. Viable. Yeah, but... But I'm going to I'm going to be slowing down here on purpose. So you're going to watch me if you continue to watch and this channel continues to grow. You're going to watch me slow down. I'm going to be saying, you know, this year I'm only going to want to get, you know, X amount of dollars. And mm-hmm. this I'm going to be wanting this week. But right now, I just I'm not going to whine. That's my whole mm-hmm. point. I'm just not going to whine. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm going to keep digging in. Maybe the industry will put me down. You because know, as instead, far as- of, instead of whining, you could be getting looking for jobs exactly. and stuff like that, that using well, that energy to get jobs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Excuses and whining and all the, you know, excuse I can't do making. anything about it. Yeah, those those tend to be, people talk about living in the gap. Or Given maybe up. it's just, you know, unthankfulness or whatever. Uh, regret, you know, depression, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just refuse to do that. And so I just keep pressing on, tweaking, evaluating week by week. And that's all I'm asking you to do is just make sure you don't go whine. Mm. All right. Thanks. Next up is our numbers. Johnny will be here, like I said, on the couch, and we will talk all things our numbers and maybe some stuff that happened this week. So join us for that, and uh, we'll see you later.